bit, right? <laughs> right? I'm losing my boner. I'm on us. Welcome back, motherfuckers, to your mom's favorite podcast. It is called The Go Deeper Podcast. It's not RCF Voice Podcast. It's pretty close. Pero esos güeyes no la pena. Ah. Cada quien tiene su sabor, bro. Not everybody the everybody got their own gas, like sí, you were sí. saying. Cada quien tiene su rollo. Ellos son muy acá en, la, en las nubes, y no sé, y nosotros acá más pegados a la tierra, bro, porque... Psh, en la tierra puede pistear. Saludos para mi compa. Okay, cheers, I'm just playing about cheers. my RCF boys. También saludos para mi compa. They're going to be on in a couple of weeks. Mi compa Brandon, mi compa Alex. Le dicen el jefe al Alex. Ah, y el, el boss. Y, ¿Y cómo le dicen al otro? El gordo sexy. <risa> ah, es mi compa. Es mi ¿Por compa. qué? Yo no sé. Ah, pero así le dice. <risa> es que está guapo mi compa. Sí, está, está guapo. Está guapetón el güey. He's got good jeans. He's got good Levi's. That's my, ah, <risa> good Levi's. That's my boy. Though. No se crea. Shout Today, very Brandon. special guest on the Go Deeper Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen. <risa> My dog, his official name is Jorge. Le dicen también Mr. Rascón, but I know him as El Compa Coque. Bro, ah, bueno. ¿cómo andas, my dog? Al cien, ¿no? Puro pinche millón, ¿verdad? Y ahora mejor contigo, chilling. Joder, mi amor. <laughs> <laughs> no te creas. Nah, like I said earlier, bro, it's always a good time. Bro, talking, honestly, you know? como dijiste tú hace rato, we don't hang out like como, como tanto, tanto, pero cuando sí... Fucking good times, boy. Like, no way, no way. Bro, I was gonna. What happened to your hat? Tenías una hat que decía. It was a. You used to always every tocada we te miraba con la same hat, bro. The Mexico one. The Mexico one. It's hung up, bro. Y te la querían tumbar unas veces, ah. Huh? They, yeah, they mad tried to take times. It away from you and Dudes they, that thought it looked sick or girls that were like, oh, you're gonna get that hat, bro. Wanna, like, Let me take a souvenir. Yeah, no, I was yeah. like, nah, bro. Nah. This, is, this is like my super suit. You know when you get in, you get. Where's my super suit? Exactly. <laughs> That's literally what I would tell my girl when I'm about to leave. I'm like, hey, yo, show me right. Todo bien. Todo Where's bien. my super suit? I'll forget my accordion before I get my hat. This is thanks. <laughs> thanks. you hung it up. No more. No more Wait. miles. It, it has a lot of miles, That's bro. What I'm saying, bro. And it got it got a lot of sweat lines and shit. So I, I was like, let me just hang it up and clean it real quick and just. I'm a I'm a big hat guy, también. But man, especially in the gigs, right here, bro. Yeah. Right here. Yep. I mean, if you sweating, you really putting it in. You it's, know? it's right. It's right. Right. I don't know. I like and it. And I mean, so. I know a lot of people listen to this podcast in English and, and Spanish, yeah. but this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a twang, a Spanglish. Yeah, both, both English and Spanish. I. I'm sorry beforehand. I'm sorry beforehand. Ah, huevo. Pero me vale verga también. Oh, here's the thing. My, my, my other, el gordito que tiene la barba. Simón, Simón, Simón. Matt, he's trying to learn Spanish too. Ah. Perfect opportunity, motherfucker. No más que va a estar bien cabrón con mi verbo porque pues yo soy del barrio, cabrón. Está pelada. O sea, you're going to learn Spanish text and you're going to learn Spanish the way it's spoken. Simón, cabrón. En tu compa. No, pariente, pues aquí andamos. Ah, huevo, pues. And then he's going to be like, through his book, uh, a huevo. Damn. What the fuck is a huevo, boys? What's a way? Oh, <laughs> anyways. I, I weigh 220. <laughs> no, porque chido que me, que me invitaste, güey. Dude. I fuck with you. What, ah. what people don't know is that this thing right here, it's a whiteboard, and we use it to um, put, put down ideas, you know, just in case uh, we get, like, writer's block or dead air or something. Coque took it upon himself. He's like, wait a minute. I'm going to write questions to ask. The podcast host, because people don't usually do that. A lot of times, podcasts oh, are well. treated like an interview, which is cool. But if it's a podcast, you want to engage from the both peoples. So, okay, what did you write? You wrote, well, I was telling you, okay, too, that I wrote these down because I wanted to ask you these anyways over a beer, just in conversation. <laughs> you know what what I mean? a coincidence! Because that's today. I had to make it happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> By the way, for the people who aren't watching the podcast, if you're listening to it, we're drinking Hefeweizen. These are Hefeweizens. These, uh, we didn't get the crack on camera. We cracked them before before the mics turned on. But we have good two thing there's two more because we're yeah. going to get the crack on camera, baby. We're going to have to do the redneck mating call. I'll show you that. <laughs> the redneck mating call. <laughs> the... It's nasty. <laughs> hey, that's fucking. I never heard Let's that. Let's see if before. I can bust it out. Sometimes it wants to come out. I'll show you. <laughs> The red name really Yeah. Call. Fuck yeah, bro. That's fucking funny. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna use that one in my daily vocabulary. I'm gonna have to use that one cuando vamos porque a veces not to, not all the time, but sometimes after the podcast on Fridays because we film on Fridays. Oh, I see. Y'all be going to the bar. We be going to the bar. Go That's deeper podcast is out here. That's why I brought the beer, bro. We go to the bar. That's where I post. Mm-hmm. No pasa nada. No pasa nada. The bar is. Stop one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes from there we go to stop two. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't need you to go any forward for your own safety. 
<laughs> Dude, that's another thing. My girl's a hater too. She don't be watching my fucking show. So that's what they want you to think. <laughs> That's you got to be just, careful. Look, me is, personally, though. I just got to look out for myself all the time. Sí. I know. No, stop two is church. Vamos a confesar. We go to confession. No, es que después de tomarme tanta yeah, chela, yeah, vieja, yeah. pues tenía que ir a, a, a decirle al, al padrecito que por qué chingados no llegó al bar. Ah, no más. Me llega la emoción. <laughs> tengo, tengo que confesar. Got, got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hand me a beer. <laughs> Hand me a beer. ¿Quién es? Get the spirits twerking a little oh. bit. Okay, okay, I'm fine. Te imaginas, güey, llegas a la iglesia, topeo, pare. No, ese güey te va a chingar porque no le trajiste una. No se preocupe, viejo, una quita. Ah, no. <laughs> Su padre se va a invitar. Hey, ¿por qué no me invitaron? <laughs> for, for those of you that don't know Spanish, we're talking about a father in a church, you know, cracking a beer with us after we've gone which, to jail by which, the wife. Which, by the way... Would not be my first time drinking con padres. I don't know. If you, we're, pro- we're Hispanic, bro. You, you probably don't know this. That that, that motherfucker watched us on, the, on our way to the store talking about, are you going to go get beer for your parents? And probably won't for me, but whatever. Mm-hmm. You know. Dude, my dad worked at church, at a Catholic church, as a pastoral associate for 25 years. Mira, te estás espantando la verga. Damn, 25 years? 25 years, bro. Don't be saying that paranormal shit around me. <laughs> I'm on, that was, that was, that's what this board is for I'm gonna ask you some paranormal shit in un ratito Okay, 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 okay I like it yeah, Let I'll, me ask you this shit first I'll tell okay. you something you No, 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 that was it. I was just saying my dad works at So we have a lot of friends que son padres mm-hmm. And with my dad, they How do you say in English? Que son confiados they're, they're comfortable around my dad Yeah There's some padres I want I can't say names Because I'm going to burn them out so bad But there's <laughs> there's, yeah, don't, don't there's holy uh, pastors, fathers, right? ¿Cómo se le dicen? My my boy over here is, is struggling yeah, behind the cameras. They, He's like, "Hey yo, is there ghosts in this <laughs> motherfucker?" And when they come around here, they let loose, but they don't care. They they're Ghost. cussing. Oh shit! Really? Like they're we're drinking beers, he, we're playing card games. Ahora toda la verga, un padre, bro. I swear to God, pero no I didn't, didn't want to say it, but in Mexico I seen that shit too. Oh yeah, where's the Mexico? Is it is it? You know what's on this? Is the TJ. That's what's up. Hey, that's what's up. But forward with your questions. All right, all right. Now this is the part of the podcast where we change it up. We're gonna start asking Mr. Armando, aka Mando, aka Mr. GDP himself, aka Go Deeper. That's what she said. I know. You know the JGL, como tu GDP. Ah, do it, do it, do it. No, 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 no. GDP. Uh huh. Okay. No, mami. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let, let me get these questions out. Aventamelas en la cara. We're gonna we're gonna do a couple of questions, but I need I need you know substantial answers. Okay. I'll dig deep. Power down. It is the Go Deeper Podcast. It is the Go Deeper Podcast <laughs> where you go deeper, go home. All right. Don't make me cry, though. Like, don't be saying none of this fucking, like, super sentimental shit, you know? <laughs> these are these are basic questions, but right. we could get some info here. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying. Go into All details, right. but, you know. Hey, yo. Was already sweaty. That I know. Go back. Like, no hey, bro, what's no up with this question? It's fucking January. It's fucking no, no, January. No. It's January, my dog. Yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> It might be snowing outside, but it's melting inside, baby. <laughs> All right, let's go. I want to. How long you been a musico, bro? Fuck. Oh, wait, wait, wait. For those that don't know Spanish, musico is just musician. M- musico is musician. Compa Coca is a musician. I didn't give you a proper intro, bro. He's a musician. He's a barber. And he's an overall badass. Sorry. Mm, I, I, I wanted to fucking matter. put that before. Al rato, al rato me preguntas tú. Okay. Go. All right, let's get some shit later. So, so how, how long, long have you been a mus- musico? How long have I been a musician? Yeah. Um... That's a that's a good question actually. Nobody's ever actually asked me that. I've always there's the ever since I was little, bro. I've always liked music. Ever, if there was a keyboard somewhere, I've always been. Como se le dice? I've always been musically inclined. That's what somebody told mm-hmm. me one time because I would hear a song, and I would kind of fuck around with the keyboard, and I would kind of get a melody down. And they were like, "How'd you do that?" I'm like, "How'd I do what? I'm fucking around." Fucking Kanye over here. Like just like <laughs> I wouldn't like fucking bust out the drums and do like a whole you know like an orchestra session or nothing. But like I see come on like a simple. No, nah, see more me too at school with the fucking pants. I'd be like, yeah, exactly. You know, I'd be just kind of like figure it out like this. But th- I mean, that was me fucking around. I was probably between eight and twelve, fifteen years old. Simon, when I my first 
when I was 17 years old, my padrinos, Ari's parents, George's parents, where we used Salud to go, where we used to go practice and shit. Ah, mi tocayo, George Sr. Yes, he won. Son mis padrinos for Simon. everything. They're my godparents for baptism, comunión. What's the other one? Con Internet? razón, salió la música ahí. Everything. For my 17th birthday, bro, me regalaron un bass. Yeah. Oh, so you started with the bass. Bass was my first instrument. Okay. Four string. Okay. Which I wish I would have learned five string, but it, it's you get the fat or no with the five string. Either way, you play it now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Five so string. Don't hate on the beginning. The That's fact true. That some of some of it's But the thing is, since I learned with the four, when I play five, I get confused sometimes. <laughs> Because I look down and I think the top string is an E, but it's a fucking B. They got a verga. I can't act like I know what that feels like because <laughs> I don't know how to play the guitar. Well, bro, the get bass, this. I, was, I wanted to learn bass so bad. I was like, okay, I'm going to learn bass. Por mis huevos, porque quiero a la verga. Because my, my parents no son They also goes. wanted to, though. I want, that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh yeah, mis huevos. Por huevos, you know, it sounds like, fuck, oh, you know, I had to. But you wanted to, like, you had passion for it. it I did. Like, cause I had you and I passion. both know. You can't play music live if you don't fucking love this shit. That's true. There's motherfuckers that play in their in their room forever, which is fine. Mm -hmm. You know, we all we all share music, you know. Sure. But playing live weekend yes. after weekend, you have to love the music, you know. You know where Feel I, that shit. You know where I started playing? I guess you could say live because it was live that's, for a for an audience. You know where you know where I first big ass family. No, not the family. Oh no. You know where I first started at? Church. Church. I knew it. I knew it. I was playing in church for I knew it. Oh. Fuck, I can't remember. That, that was when I was meeting. That's when I met this fool. Because I was, I, my dad, to digo, my dad worked at church for the longest time. He would go to church. And then my dad, Aguevo Mequeria, he wanted to send me down the church road. You know what I mean? Like the, the church way of life. And he's like, I want to learn bass. I got a perfect opportunity for you, cabrón. Alabaré, 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 alabaré a mi señor. Yo. That's how I started learning bass. And get this, I was learning bass. I was like, boom, okay, that's a G. You know how I learned guitar? The guitar player, I would watch him over here. I'm like, okay, this is G on bass. What's he doing over there? So I eyeballed him on the guitar, and he's going like this. Damn. And I had a guitar at home. So I was like, okay, here I'm doing G right here. When I get home, I'm going to practice what he's doing. And then I practice like this. I got the G on the guitar, too. Damn, and that's okay. how I started fucking being a musica, bro. Then after about a year in the coro, a church choir, people who don't know who coro is. Yeah. Coro means church choir, or it just means choir. Coro yeah, de la iglesia is the church choir. choir. The choir. Felix asked me, uh, I'm looking for a bass player. <laughs> this is a funny story, actually. Felix told me, I'm looking, I ran into him randomly at Winko, and I know that he had a group already, because I used to DJ with my uncle, and nos topamos en una fiesta y lo conocí. What year was this? If I was 17. We're putting dates on it, bro. I'm 30 now, so that was 13 years ago. Two, 2009, 2010. Circa 2009. Circa 09. Circa 09. Dude, brother. I ran into Felix at Winco, out of all places, and I was like, what's going on, man? How's the band? Good, bro. We're looking for a bass player. Ocupo elementos a la verga. He said, I'm looking for a he said, you I'm were like, for, Hierro, pues. He said, I'm looking, for, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for a bass player. You know anybody who plays bass? I'm like, me. I'm like, bro, I play bass. <laughs> He's like. Stop fucking lying. I asked your dad if he knows anybody who plays bass, and he Damn, told me no. Damn, your dad did like, you dirty. My dad, dad was like, alabare, alabare, That's what my dad wanted, bro. Alabare, alabare. He wanted me to, like, no me lo desvies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. Sorry, y sir. Y desde entonces, I started off, que tú has venido, Lauria, y acabé. Córtele bien la cabeza, que no. <laughs> no, oh my God. La voy a mandar. Ah, si te las hago, perro. Ah, si los cuates, bro. So, okay. How long have I been a Me, musical? like you, I am sort of a music historian. I See, love that shit, you know? You're, you're, you know what my son calls me? And it's 100% true. He calls me a music nerd. I oh, well. I'm like, shut the fuck up, but you're right. Hey, it's a, it's, it's a beautiful thing, though. It's it is. It's a beautiful thing, bro. I'll be fucking... All types of music. Listen to all of it. Even if you yes. don't like it, you got to find out that you don't Here's like it, you know too. what I mean? Do you like country music? I used to say no, but, there, you know, there's got there's one or, or two, you know, guilty pleasure songs that you're like, fuck it, you know? Alan Jackson, sometimes he can rub me the right Alan way. Jackson's top three. Not even top five. Top three. Uh, Alan yeah, he's he's kind of goaded. He's kind of He's goated. a goat. He's 100% goat. Oh, shit. You Fun got all. That's, uh, you know who that is? No. Marcus King. He's like a. Are you putting he, me on? Put me on. Marcus <laughs> King. All right. We, we, that's from a, from a concert. We, we saw him here at the Crystal Barroom. He's country. He's from Nashville, but he sings his country with soul wave. Fuck, one of the greatest voices. I, I mean, that is country. The good country. Is good that, country. Right? So good I country. Get it. I get it. A lot of this country today, bro. Like today, I was at work and I was listening to the country station. I, I turned it off, bro. I couldn't. Can you say it. pop? 
Uh, bro, yeah. bro, they have a drum can machine. You, can you say TikTok? Bro, you know I, mean? I, I was like, they were doing country with cowboy heads, and I can see them go. Bro, <laughs> like, TikTok, bro, but whatever. We know that. She wants to join us on TikTok, bro. Nah. I mean, you got nah. good uh, music. Ah. <laughs> hey, back to how long you've been a musical. Well, what what else do you play? What, what instruments? All, what all do you play? You play nah, bass. I, I, we established I play bass. this. I play bass. I play bass. I play six string guitar, like guitar plays. Now you have acoustic to specify guitar. acoustic guitar. That's yeah. what most. That's what most people that don't acoustic, know about music. Six string motherfucking Someone. standard tuning guitar, friends. <laughs> and then I play bajo sexto slash bajo quinto, whatever you want to call it. He it's fucking the destroys same thing. that. Instrument. It's pretty good. Those are the only three things that I play, though. Believe it or not, put he's a, a beast on the strings. Pura cuerda, certified. Put a stamp on it. I get it. It, it, it. it pays bills. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, Yo, let's talk about something. I, I have a few more questions, but I'm glad this comes up. Is it me or do Mexican bands like the Musica, do we get paid more than white bands? Big time. Have Big you ever, time. Okay. Whenever it, I tell a, 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 like an English who's artist. Who's a beast, by the way. Like yeah. shred. They get paid. Not, they do a lot of free shows, bro. A lot of promo. Get we this. don't be doing that. Get this. We be getting pissy. Get this this bro they'll get paid shits on our dollar like when it when you compare it which is it sucks to say because i look at them and there's a badass musician bro oh no salute to all of them Respect. honestly straight up i'm asking a question from experience and also like like i want to know from ignorance like, i want to know like they'll play at a bar right you'll see a bar you'll see a band playing at a bar they're not getting paid that great and bro all that pa system that's there they brought it too oh my god yeah the, like Pobrecillo. there's no i mean i'm sure every once in a while you'll you'll find a house system that's there but aquí at pubs is my favorite bar right here in the corner 181st in division bro they they, they, they make them bring it covid covid shut it down they haven't had a band sentence but they used to, every friday every sunday uh, friday and saturday they would have live bands on the weekends, bro. And that would go every weekend because every weekend was a different band, bro. Aquí. I could walk there. Me pongo pedo. Ah, listen, and I'm like, hey, what's going on, bro? Yeah. For the whole, una vez pedo, like drunk. Hey, bro. Because they, they're there for the whole weekend. It's like a weekend set. How much you guys get paid? So, there's like five guys, six guys. I mean, after the weekend, we, we each take home about 150 bucks. Like, All weekend? And, and they're not doing our sets. They do two hours, break another two hours. I know. We get paid $100 an hour. An hour, my friend. Por ahí mínimo dicen. Por ahí mínimo have, dicen. A veces, muchas veces And they have a system más, in the house. We don't have to. If we're hauling our shit. Neta. Money, money, yo, money. Yo, yo. Y, y no es por presumir. It's just. Yeah, it's and just honestly, we're yeah. just trying to be and I'm not real. Tr- we're not trying I'm to do I'm trying it. to come from a real place. That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah, people are. Putting facts people, out there. Because. People can take it the wrong way too. Ah, nosotros ganamos un chingo feria. No, I think. No se gana mucho, no más que. But the thing is, te das cuenta que ganas más. They do, and I think that that should change because the like the English music industry, they should pay more to them too. Like I don't know, I don't know if it's but why? Why do we get paid more? Is it because Mexicans? I don't know, bro. Appreciate the music more. I don't think it's that. I mean, I'm I'm super proud to be paisa and Mexican. Me too. So, so I gotta say that that's probably it. <laughs> Mexicans probably just I mean you've been there When fucking At the end of the party bro All the fucking Members of the party yeah. Not just the family But sometimes even Members of the party Would be like Bro I got a hundred on it If, if other people got a hundred on it That's To get true. these motherfuckers To play another hour Here's the thing Nowhere else Have you seen bands Ask for encore If it's not fucking like a Like, like a, a like huge a, artist But for us It's a Every other weekend thing it's Where a, it's, it's like Every weekend oh, Another oh, hour bro Here you go Another hour bro Here you go what group? Of, that's a good question, bro. Let's ask him. Oh, Compa Coque, you, we have established that you play the accordion. What group do you play for? Did currently? we establish I play the accordion? Oh yeah, he did. He I did. said you uh, did. I I'm not sure if I did. I we said we were, would do me later. We said we would do me later. It was you first. Uh-huh. It was you first. I'll do, I'll do you later. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> if I keep saying that's what she said, it's only because my guy here is a fiend of the office like myself. La oficina. No pertenecemos a la oficina. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> My next question, even though we're we're probably going off topic, we'll come back later when you ask. We me. are, yeah. All right. What is your favorite food, bro? Bro, I, you I, you are you are half white and half Mexican, so this fucking answer could be wild, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever tried horse? Not the grass. I know, my <laughs> man. I thought you said me. Have you ever tried venison? I know, that's, my man. That's deer. I'm, I know that's what? busting too. I'm not gonna lie. It depends on how it's prepared. Jerky is okay, but when they like try to do it, like. 
I try to do this marinade and I don't know. Maybe I just had relax. A, maybe I had a put wrong. some salt, put some pepper, dry that bitch up. Yeah, put it in my mouth. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, hey, sometimes with the tapatio and shit like carne seca, how Mexicans do, you put some tapatio on that bitch. That shit gets. Mm. Anyways, do you hunt, way? No, I don't. Me neither. I shoot guns like a motherfucker, two a all day, but I don't hunt. Put those targets, no animals. Oh, well, put those targets. Oh, well. Hey, favorite food though. Okay. Don't get off topic, That's perro. Good. Cheers. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I have a lot of favorite foods. It's hard to nail. It's hard to nail. Besides slamming these goddamn half of wisens. Uh, favorite food? Beer. Mm, <laughs> beer. Breakfast. Dijo aquel. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Breakfast. <laughs> That's fucking funny. I get your references to it. Let's get it. If I have to narrow it down, bro, Mexican food. Mexican food is fire, bro. I don't right. care. Right. You could be Mexican and love Mexican food. You can like even white people, bro. But I know you like food. food. What do you What do you like from Mexican food? And then what do you like from from American food? Because I know those are your two options. I feel like those, you're like those me. are what I always eat the most. Fuck, American food is fucking hard. There's some good for me, bro. American food, cheeseburgers. I can't believe somebody <laughs> fucking invented that. Cheeseburgers are fire. Cheeseburgers somebody fire. said fucking a bun, two pieces of succulent greasy meat, cheese, and then somebody fucked around and said, "Let's add bacon on that shit." Oh my. Bro, God bless this American white person, whoever the fuck it was. It was a white person, probably. 100%. From Texas. Bring it on that motherfucker. <sighs> fuck my arteries, but I'm going yeah, to fuck them every time. Fuck every last one of them, bro. As long as, long as I get to eat, as long as I get a cheeseburger and some fries, bro, God bless you. And so the, the that's me on American side. Yeah. Hot take. I'm not a wings guy. You know what? My buddy Troy isn't either. Ugh. I'm a burgers and fries guy type of guy, you know. Medium, medium, I'm not, I'm medium not racist, rare. Bro. You know I'll what I mean? bring it. Everything, bring it on. <laughs> I'm not racist. <laughs> These uh, chickens can get it too, dog. This, this mouth is ready to I eat go to for everyone. I Chick Fil A all the time, my G. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but what do you say? I'm, so I'm, I'm American trying to think. food. I'm trying to think. I said I'm trying to cheeseburgers think. for me. What cheeseburgers for, for American food. That's a pretty good one, bro. I have bacon wrapped hot dogs, bro. Oh yeah, I'm but, you, but the bur- I'm talking about top. I'm talking about number one, bacon, top two. Yeah, I feel like the, the bacon true. wrap hot dog that is, is a el dogo way, el dogo. You know, pa- paisas des ganas de arte. Con quesillo y no frijol. No, no. You know what? Andas desviando, verga. You know what? I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna say it flat out. It depends from where. It depends how it's prepared. Tacos, and that's pretty vi- uh, that's vague. I'm gonna say my favorite food is tacos because it could be tacos de asada, tacos de pastor, tacos de carnitas, and that's pretty vague. Well, for Mexican food, me too. I'm talking about which one. No, I'm talking about overall. Oh, You're no. asking me what my favorite food is. I'm me gonna say too. tacos. I'm me gonna too. Say tacos. If it's overall tacos, bro, you can do general the most incredible variety of tacos. You can. And honestly, By the way, if you're tacos, it's hard to fuck up a taco. But if you do fuck it up, shame on you, and you're going to hell. How, how do you, shame on you. If it has lettuce and cheese, is that a taco? No. Thank you. Get God the damn fuck out of here. Get you and your fucking your I hard mean, shell out of my house. I mean, we all we all go to Taco Bell. I do but, go to Taco Bell. But I wish Taco Bell. But loved we me. we go there knowingly, knowingly that yeah. that it's not part of our culture. It's a fucking it's, you know, it's fast food fucking. It's you know. binging content. You know what I mean? You just do it because. Exactly. Nothing else to do. But it'd be busting too, you know, sometimes, especially when you're drunk. I wish Taco Bell loved me as much as I But Taco tacos Bell. from the fucking, like, the lonchera and shit, you know, little fucking. Oh, sidebar. Best tacos in Portland, go. <sighs> Damn. It's really stepped up in the last couple of years. It has. There's a lot before. Before, you'd be like, like, oh, going. right here, easy. But and now it's like, kinds. wait a minute. There's, there's, there's a few different spots. Dude, the, the place that I went to the other day. That they're your friends, and I just randomly stumbled upon them. Oh, Niños. Them. Niños, niños Mirería. Salud a mi compa. Salud a mi compa. Niños, bro. Yeah. I had lunch there the other day. They get down. For they all get your down. Ta- and it's a birri- birreria. I didn't know that. I, have, I was looking for taco tacos. tacos. All types of shit. So it's hard, too, to pick a place because there's a lot of birrerias coming up, which is like Mexican barbecue. Yeah. Right. By the way, hot take. Not a super fan of birria. Bro, we're, we're fucking... I'm not a hater, but I fucking love it. I'll, I'll eat it, bro. Don't get me wrong. But, bro, we're musicos. Quinceañeras every weekend. What are they serving? Yeah. Thank you. I'm. I'm I know. Good. I'm not gonna wait. You see, I was the weird one that looked at my homies and I was like, "Y'all aren't ecstatic like me." But I grew up not eating it because my mom. We're from like La Costa and shit. So well, from oh. Tijuana, we don't really. Marisco, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Camarones, pescado. You know, like all the time. Como, como sufres. <laughs> yeah. You didn't yeah. tell me. Well, there you go. Tacos. Your your favorite tacos spot in Portland. Have you tried the ones outside of Mojitos? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love those. But yeah. also, we're coming out with adrenaline and fucking drunk a that little bit, true. so don't forget that. I'm talking about sober tacos. There's this spot in Tiger. There's this spot in Tiger called, um, yeah. I already know. If I'm talking about sober tacos and like know. top tier, because la mano, güey, la tortilla, güey. Hand fucking padded. The lady back there, she loves you with all her heart, and she's fucking giving it to you in that tortilla, bro. I swear to God, I'm not lying. Am I lying? No, you're not lying. How did it's I know delicious. What it was? Yo, it was and like there's some fat fucking tacos. You're paying for this taco. Like, it's expensive, bro, but it's fucking la good. Tortilla hecha mano, the corn tortilla is not maize. Yeah, corn, corn my like guy. Corn. corn. No, maize. No, that's what I said. Ah, lo mismo, lo mismo. I, I'm on crack. No, I'm on crack. You said maize. You said maize. <laughs> I was about to say something de maize. No, Simon, pues a huevo. Y así grandes, güey. Bro, no, pinchitos. You, you, you get there hungry. You llegas con hambre. You're like, pues écheme cinco de asada. I'm only ever like three, bro. Y la, y la doña, Simon, cinco, Simon. She's la... even laughing at you while she's writing down five and shit. Bro, she knows you're going to eat three. You your play, you're like, holy shit. Fuck, two are going home, for sure. Yeah, 100% two are going yeah. home. Yep. No, oh, and so go there, Tiger. If, the the, if you are in the Portland area, I mean, I'm sorry to all the homies. I know a lot of homies that have the, taco and they're spots. Good too. I'm saying and you guys good, are all the, you guys places. are all awesome. But my top Sanchez. tier is Sanchez. Be and they've Sanchez, been around bro. for fucking ever. They have been. So salute to that fool for staying at the top. Yep. God damn. And he's in a perfect spot too, right off the fucking 99, I know. right there. Right I know. Did you ever? Yes. You, did you ever play uh, Asabache when it was around? No, I didn't. But I've been there. I've been there. I just never played there. You had been there, though. Yeah, I've been there, yeah. We played there a couple times. I remember one time. We All the nightclubs have fucking uh, tacos right outside, bro. I mean, look at Remy's. Look at fucking, well, Mojitos. Look at all the. Mojitos. Well, this is the same. Mojitos I mean, shit, even the, the clubs down, downtown Portland now have fucking uh, tacos. Shout out to I, my homie Fables. I, Fables I, tacos. I don't, I don't really be going downtown. <laughs> I don't really be going either. Downtown got problems. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Redneck winning call. Do it. <sighs> I'm going to make that my ringtone. <laughs> Did you did you guys hear Stone the Cold sensuality Steve in that? Oh. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, let's do it. Let me see if I can do it. Yep. Oh. Boner. <laughs> oh my god. That's boner material. Hang oh on. my god. Now I gotta slam this because this one's not even. Ah, no, dude. that sounded sick, bro. That, well, that was a good one. Ooh. I'm telling you. <laughs> so that's. My favorite food, tacos. It's pretty vague, right? Is that are you done with your Which one though? Which like which one's your favorite? My Los Mios, right? Me gustan un chingo de birria, but lengua has to be my favorite. Uh, I'm not a they're good, bro. Don't get me wrong, they're good. Lo que es lengua, cabeza, and uh three. Don't tell me how good they all are, because you're gonna make me hungry. I'm but a, tell me which one do you like the most. Here's the thing. And there has to be one that you're like, bro, this one is here's a the shooter. thing I'm gonna tell you. And you should know this because it's a fucking TJ thing. <sighs> Saman Different places and call them different things, but when I learned Al about Pastor. them, no, they were called gobernadores. <gasps> oh, um, that's uh, carne asada, like melted cheese. Yeah, camarón. Yeah, yeah. What? I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, no I'm not. Taco gobernador, viejo, and it's toasty, bro. So Bro, they toast that shit. It's, it's we good. Gotta, we gotta go to TJ, man. And if you get them, you've been to TJ, obviamente. Oh, well, well, my friend. The best I've only, tacos. I've only in lived there. The <laughs> world. In the that's world. where I'm from. For everybody that's looking, I'm from a little town outside of TJ called Ensenada. Well, it's not even a little town anymore. Everybody goes there for Baja Beach Fest and shit. Ensenada, Baja California. Gun in to your head. Order. Best tacos in the world. Where am I going? In TJ. In the world, where am I gonna go? You recommend me, or I kill you. Where is the best taco in the world? Um, tacos en general, en la esquina de la Avenida Chapultepec, en municipio de Chapulín, en Senada, Baja California, please. Thank you, thank you. Y están abiertos a las ocho de la mañana, vergas, y cierran a las tres de la mañana. That's not TJ, but it's close enough. Estamos aquí. But you said, but you said best tacos in the world, you know. That's where I've been. That's where I've been. People say Cali got the. No, 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 no. Fuck out of here. And and I'm not hating on you know restaurants and stuff. Everybody has their own flow. It's like it's like music, you know. We it's an art, you know. But. Mexico just they they got the sauce, bro. Yeah, it's it's they a different sauce. No sé si es el ambiente, no sé if it's because ¿Qué se va a llevar, joven? Or what the fuck it you is? You know what but... I was telling my girl the other day about the difference between the consumer experience here in a restaurant as opposed to Mexico? Uh well, there's also the similar type of restaurants in Mexico mm -hmm. where you can just pull up, sit down, order and shit, but uh -huh. the coolest thing about going to a re uh, Mexican spot in, Mer in Mexico, a taqueria, you pull up to a fucking bar and this motherfucker's looking at you, and you tell him, dos asada, mm -hmm. tres de lengua. This motherfucker hands it to you. You haven't even paid yet, my guy. Yep. 
they know that you love this shit so much that you're gonna come back someday, so you don't want to fuck up this relationship. Yep. Yeah. So eat your tacos, my boy. Come back. Let me know how many you had. Oh. Nope. And then boom, you pay this motherfucker. You even give you. Well, if you're, I don't know if they do that shit in Mexico on the regular, but me being American, I, mean, I tip a, the fuck out of these motherfuckers. Yeah, of course. I'm like, bless you and your family. <laughs> Continue this business for me. You know, <laughs> fresh. Never stop. Yeah. Exactly. You want to talk about fresh food? Yo, Mexican taco spots? This motherfucker said it. It's quick. Literally, yeah. he's a, as you're asking him, by the time you get done, you might have one in your hand already. See? You exactly. literally, literally. I swear to God. I swear to God. And it's a show. You you seen the fucking hibachi or all that shit? Yo, these motherfuckers with the guacamole and shit and the frijolillos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruh. He goes like this. Oh. Over here. That shit is sick. That shit is sick. That's a skill. No cualquier way. Honestly, bro. Honestly. Man, it's an art. It's a food. And now I'm hungry. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I knew I shouldn't ask you that question. All right. My next question, and then you can get on to asking me shit. Okay. I got it. Because I, I got some forget. questions for you. Right. How long have you been fishing? I'm 30 years old, so about 32 years. I have to get out. That's my mom. No. Came out the womb casting this yeah. shit. I was like, mom, cut this. I got to go fishing. <laughs> you know what? It'll work as a line. <laughs> you know what? Can I keep this? I it's the bait. Again. It? Look. <laughs> Nah, bro, I've been fishing for a minute, bro. There's the Morillo, my friend, since fucking... I remember I was eight years old. There's a fucking country song by Tim McGraw called Don't Take the Girl. And it starts off saying, Johnny's daddy was taking a fishing when he was eight years old. I remember being eight years old and going fishing with my dad being, look, my name's not Johnny, but that's our song. I was going to say fucking Mondo in that song. Say, there. Mondo's Mondo. daddy. Uh, Every, so, and I was fishing since before that. So probably like, man, I was probably six years old. And you've been catching since then? I've been catching since like seven years old. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I was waiting for it. Nah, bro. For it. You know what, though? We've been catching because we go over here. It's a, it's like a cheating spot. It's a beginner spot. You pay to fish there. Simon. Rainbow Trout Farm in Sandy. Because they, they fill it up, huh? You, and the thing is, it's not catch and release. If you catch it, I will. Te la tienes que llevar. You got to take it. And the thing is, they, they measure the fish. I don't see that as a bad thing. My God. No, it's not, bro. <laughs> And you know, trout, I, how yummy, you, yummy in my tummy, motherfucker. I, I'm hot. hungry, you know what I mean? Like, Good fish, too. Trout is probably some of the best oh, eating man. fish around here. I mean, obviously, you have salmon, but trout is in the same uh, family as salmon. So, Simon. fire ass fish. Do you fish, bro? I don't fish, but I eat the fuck out of it. So, <laughs> I, know the, I know a lot of different types of fish, but I don't fish myself. I want to, though. And I was going to tell you, I'd be down to go with you. Sure. I see you be up at like four, four in the morning sometimes. I, I got to be in my front house tomorrow at five. I'm mountain bike and all that shit. So I'd be up early as fuck, too, on the mission. So I understand when it's a mission. You know Sidebar what I mean? question. How do you feel about the death of Ken? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to make everybody see my haircut right now. But RIP <laughs> Ken Block, bro. One of the greatest action sports goddamn legends of our time. It was a blessing for us to see this motherfucker do what he did. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. And I say motherfucker with the utmost respect. No, like, see, he is a for me beast, is common, bro. Unless, unless Legend. See, I'm not going to lie. And don't get mad at me. I don't know who he was. That's, hey, that's but fine. But the thing is, I'm not, I'm not There's a, people across the world who are way more famous, and we don't know who they are. That's you true. Know? That is true. Because I'm not, I don't follow extreme sports like that, man. Yeah, I know. I, and I, I imagine, know you do, because you do the biking, you do all this shit. So you're like... I remember you posting about it. No way. And I, you were like the third person I seen. No, mom is Ken Block. I was like, who the fuck? And I always just seen that he's like like in the gear. So I knew he was something extreme. So I was like, at first I thought it was Rob Deere. Like, no, mom is. <laughs> well, he, he started DC. Is it with the men? That fool started DC. And he was um he was like a marketing guy back in the day in the 90s. And he started DC Shoes, sold it to Rob Deere somehow. And then said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to just start living my dream. And started racing and shit and in like two three years he's like world world class is this is this true or not i heard this from a friend who i asked him who kim block was he said that they would shut down blocks bro and like in cities like some major cities so that this fool can like street race through them like yes perform jim crazy jim connor volume one through a thousand or whatever they're on now mm -hmm. but but yes look that up on youtube go to youtube and write type in it jim connor g-y-m-k-h-a-n-a -A. all right I blessed you now. Like Jim, like like the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Connor. Yeah, and that's him. He would he would um he would get permits from the cities, and he would just destroy. That's wild, bro. And wild what's, shit. What's the thing that it's took good, him out it's there? A good time. It was an accident, wasn't it? A snowmobile, or something snowmobiling like that? accident. You know, when you get wild, it's part of the game. Part del chodisen, but I mean, you never want. You, that's the worst case scenario. It's like so you it's never like that, but. that's crazy, bro. Like you're driving extreme cars, racing. You look 
lo que te chingas son hey, sus cuando te toca, te toca. It's like the crocodile hunter, bro. You're fucking petting alligators and crocodiles all day long. And what, what's the one that takes you out? A stingray. Yo, legend, though. Both legends. Both legends. Straight up. Honestly. Saludos para pa el crocodile hunter and the, when, uh, and, the, anyways, and the car hunter. on for morbid shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All, what do you want to ask me now? We talked about your fishing. How long you been I'm fishing? I'm going to ask you some of the same questions because this is, these are good questions right here. Ah, le gustó mi compa. You're a musico. You, you play acordeón. As we've established now. Oh, my introduction. Oh. I'll do it at the end because I, I ask you for your sources. Tell me the pueden seguir y todo that shit. Uh, How long have you been a musical for? I started playing. Oh, well. Fuck. Because singing, just, singing is also I musical. Say, I almost disrespect myself. I've been a musical since I was like 13 years old, I guess. I was at a party at a quinceanera. I saw a girl who was like, like looking at the band, like you know, like damn, these fools are the shit. And I said, you know what? I sing sometimes at home. Let me go Perks sing. Perks of being in a band, baby. <laughs> let me go sing. Let me go sing with these motherfuckers. I pulled it off, and and then when like girls started talking to me because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep doing this. I didn't even think I was good at singing. I just wanted to sing and shit because of the girls. Once I started fucking. That's good motivation, bro. <laughs> once I started singing, though, I mean, through high school mm -hmm. and parties and stuff with the homies. Um, I started looking at musicals like, damn, bro, singing is cool and all, but knowing an instrument is hard. That shit, mm, that's, that's sick. Guitarra, banda, that was what I was mostly around, but I always listened to the accordion, norteño, right? Pues somos norteños, bro. You're ah, from... Bueno, arriba, California, arriba la frontera, plebes. Yep. Sinaloa también. Ah, es bueno. norte. Es norte, my friend. Ah, bueno, puro nor nor um, I tried learning the guitar, bro. But I failed. I, wait, okay. I don't know why. And I was pissed, bro, because okay. everybody around me okay. could learn that shit like nothing. And then me. Okay. You picked up a guitar and you're like, nah, let me get this motherfucker with the gang of fucking buttons. It doesn't make sense to no kind of patterns. I'm going to get this one. That's what you did? Damn, I don't bro. know what it was. I don't know what it was, but I tried the guitar. I, I sang like a motherfucker. I sang with bandas and shit. You know, I, I'm, I mean, you notice I got a high voice and shit. Si, 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 si. I sang with bandas and shit, so I didn't really get to see the accordion a lot. So I didn't really have interest in it at the time. I, I grabbed a guitar, you know, Cierreños and shit. I grabbed a guitar, started playing the guitar a little bit and learned a little bit, but never really got to, to like, really si. develop in it. So I didn't find interest, you know. And that's, and that's a good thing, too. That's a, that's You can't say you didn't try because you tried. Yeah, you, I tried. It, just wasn't, it wasn't for you. Fucking made my head hurt and shit. I thought <laughs> I was stupid, dog. I thought I was hella dumb. I was like, bro. You know, no, we, all, we all got our own little ego, and that shit was fucking me there's, up. There's no way, bro. My dad, bro, told me, hey, el acordeón, ¿te gusta? ¿Cómo me es? Trátale. And, mm. you, you, you picked it up, you were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, bro, the first time I touched it, I was like, what the fuck? Like, he's on. That's, I love the accordion, bro. But that's the, I got a high respect for you, bro. Because for me, the accordion, man, that's tough shit, man. It's and, chess. And it's the thing chess, is, not checkers. Exactly. It's, 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 you say you couldn't, that's, that's why it's crazy to me. You say you try to pick up a guitar and it was like, but, and it, that was difficult. I'm like, but you know that you guitarists, you guys have a lot of music knowledge. That's from what I've noticed compared to other musicians. The guitarists know all the notes. They know all the fucking I mean, musical theory. But it's because you know? I look down and it, it's right here. I can see. For me, I learned a few basic things and let's go. <laughs> Man, I, I got high respect. I wish I could learn the accordion and I always, I always say I could learn it. But every time I pick one up and I'm like, actually, I don't know if I could actually fucking do this, bro. But Is it hard? I, I mean, I can't say that for myself because I, I caught on pretty quick. One year after I picked it up, I was in front of people. Well, that's, a, that's a year, though. And that was it every day, every other day? Every day. See what I'm saying? That's dedicated. The thing is, I bro, used to take my accordion with me to my job at the time. And on my breaks, no cap, my homies will tell you. Uh, mi compa oso, mi compa oso, he'll tell you. I would be in the... F exactly, my oso brand. Yep. Saludo mi compa oso. He'll tell you, bro. I would be going on break with him. And he'd be like, nah, I'm going to go to the store and grab lunch and shit. I was going to say, and lunch instead of eating, like, oh, no, you guys go get tacos. I'm going to be right here in the truck. Yep. Yeah. Sí, güey. Aprendiéndome el tao tao, fucking el centenario, you know, just Bro, basic songs that I know how to That's the thing, out. though. It, that, that's one year. But obviously everybody's different, but that's one year every day, lunch breaks. That's dedication. That's somebody who wants to learn. Different categories of the accordion, no? Yeah, there's a couple. But the thing is, the, the scales, there's two kinds of accordions. Let's establish that. I, there's buttons, uh -huh. 
And then there's keyboards, and that's like a piano. Yeah, like a piano. On the piano one, it plays just like a piano. You have all the all the. All the I got notes. your analogy. The buttons and the piano is piano is automatic. Buttons is standard. Stick yes. Shift, yes. Manual. The thing is, yeah. when, when you have a buttons accordion, you don't have every every key every chord in there. It's limited. That's why when they make, you'll see like if you see a, a grupo that has an accordion, sometimes you'll see them change. I pick up a different accordion because that's in yeah. a different key. But you'll never see that with the people that have the piano because they have everything. They have every, if he has a piano accordion, he's going to wear that one all day. And people who don't know about music, you'll get confused. This might go over your head, but a little bit of an explanation. Yeah, of for those who didn't do. know, that if, if a guy's changing accordions, he either has a button accordion, and that makes sense, or he wants to show off a different color of his piano accordion. <laughs> ah, well. But if you have different piano accordions, they're the same. They play same the exact all. same. They're the same notes. Everything is the same. Inside and outside. That's another thing people don't know. On the piano accordions, if you if you do a a, a, a C chord, right? Dun, pull it out. If you push it in, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's still, yeah, it's it's still a C For chord. For me, it's not. On the button accordions, it's not. It's a whole different thing. On the button yeah, accordions, you can do volume. a C chord and pull it out. Uh, and if you push it in, it goes, uh, it's something else, bro. Yeah, it's something else. That's why, that's why I compared it to the stick shift versus automatic. Yep. Like, you got to really be on your shit. That's you know the thing, bro. If you learn button accordion, you have to learn it twice because pulling it out, the reads do one thing. Pushing it in, it's different reads, bro. It's fucking wild. But Pero that's why I always lucha. say. Pero la lucha. Well, you have I don't, to. I don't play the piano, but yeah, I play inside and outside. Yeah, you have to. You, you have mean to. in and out or both accordions? The both accordions. No, I only play the botones, buttons. Oh. I don't play piano. I, I I play a little bit of piano itself, so maybe I could play the accordion. It's, a little it's bit. the same thing, but it, you, you but really I can't play nor I can't like play this. Mexican music on a piano accordion. I could uh-huh. play like Star Wars or like fucking you know like, <laughs> from piano, you know. Twinkle, twinkle, you like Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. know what you're saying, but I can't play fucking Travis Marco Licor or fucking mm-hmm. de Mezcal, you know, some gangster shit. Fucking you know? okay, that. Exactly. <laughs> Bro, right. That's like my favorite thing to do on the coach. You see, you know, I'm like. Bro, I have a cousin. I, I remember the day of my birthday. I want to talk about the day of my birthday before we get but too far But do you off. even remember, though? I don't. Ah, that's, no. why, that's why I want to ask you what you remember. I'm recollecting memories, motherfucker. I don't remember. Tengo, tengo un primo, bro. He's I think he's 15 now, my cousin Ethan. He is fucking hardcore learning music right now. Tiene 15 años. He's learning how to play according to botones and the teclas. He's in the fucking family to do it. All you motherfuckers have an act for it. And he plays piano. And he plays guitar. And he plays cello. Damn, bro! I'm telling you. <laughs> Damn, this fool's like, you have an accordion? Can I see? You that, have an instrument that, on the wall? Can I see that? That's oh, a full brain individual right there. I'm telling you, that my cousin, smart. he's 15 years that old. That motherfucker's smart, bro. He's insane, bro. Damn. Se la está llevando. And then my and dad, let me tell you, there's smart people in the world, but musicians that play well are some mo, genius mo, motherfuckers, multi, bro. In their own, everybody in their own respect, but p- musicians that, are pretty smart. Como dices tú, like, like you could say I play multiple instruments, but those are three stringed instruments: as bass, guitar. Yeah, yeah, the fact that he plays fucking. Uh, Accordion and then guitar and keyboard and all that shit. Cello, yeah. bro. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some instruments too. Because, dude, my primo se agarra de todo. And he tiene 15 años. So imagine when he turns 20, 23, 24, 25. Hey, let me, let me hang out with you. Bro, honestly. <laughs> dude, honestly, dude. The, tu- the tuba players around here in Portland, man. Yo, all these American bands wish they were a tuba player. Straight up. Actually, no. Who who gets it the best, bro? Mariachis. I don't like mariachis. No, I'm saying who gets the most money out of everybody. If you think of if you think about money versus expense, mariachis. Let me tell you why. And this is a this is a big issue for me. Hot take. Hot take. No, I think I agree. Coke with you. doesn't like mariachis. Ah. No, I agree with you. Is it porque hacen mania? No, because they pull up, bro. All they have to do all the time is pull up with their instrument and sing acoustic. We have to set up so neat, like private parties, you know, that like, is true. like, like, ball that's and shit. And then they get paid hella versus us. That is true. And they don't have no system, bro. They're just there. What do I like it? And God bless them. It's an art, but damn, they have, like they charge can, a premium, bro. Kind like in Sorroyo. There's people that like mariachis. I, in my personal opinion, they're not my favorite. Me neither, me neither, but I get it. I, I get, get it. it it's know? traditional Mexican, whatever. No, have for it, me, you know what grupo mean? with a bass all day. I mean, I like tuba too, but. Grupo Norteño con un bajo. <laughs> if you have a good grupo that can mix both, that's where my pussy gets wet, bro. Like, la neta, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. I like, I like two, but two, don't get me wrong, but 
but the bass for me. Oh, I like to feel it right here. Somebody who gets nasty with the bass, I'm just like, oh, let's go. I already joined our band, and I can't, and I can't gets, say I'm not excited for it. He gets nasty. He gets nasty. Honestly, bro. Y luego, Legend. Know, never mind. Yeah. I was gonna keep talking shit about mariachi, but mejor no. Uh, let's keep no. it on a we'll keep it on a motherfucking positive. Te voy a preguntar <laughs> otra pregunta. I'm gonna ask you another question. Boom. Question that's on the board. What's your favorite song to play on the accordion? Well, I love it. I play this one the most. Two questions. What's your favorite song and what's your least favorite song? Okay, my favorite song is in Centenario. I can't lie. Wow. I play the fuck out of that all the time. What I key? always have to play. Fire song. Do you have huh? it? No, do you have one here? No, 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 no. I know it's I okay, bro. Anyway. I, to be honest, I that I'll start a different show where we do because other musicals have asked me too when they come down here, like, hey, is that that's like, fine, that's fine. No, we don't have to. We're having a you conversation. Know what I'm we're, this is the podcast, but si quieres, we could do like another episode of Tolia and jamming out and shit. My favorite song, Centenario. Okay, hands down. That's a good one. Worst or not worst? Least I guess, favorite. Least favorite. And that's the one that like, gente está pidiendo, like, hey, esta come esta, and you're like, ay, te va a huevo. Like, I don't want to, but I te va. Which one is it? For me, it changes. For me, it's La del Moño Colorado, bro. No mames. ¿Qué le digo si la vida? No mames. Slow ass cumbia, bro. Slow Súbele. Cumbia. Tú llevas el tiempo. Or well, the drummer does, but... Uh, but people usually like that one slow, you know? Like, that's the how they know it, you know? My, <laughs> my, my other favorite song, though, actually, in Centenaria I play all the time, but my real favorite song that Sorry. I bring up, La Yaquesita, bro. That's a good one. That's a I ripped the fuck out of that song. And, it, y si eres, si eres mexicano y no sabes cuál es la yaquecita, está bien pendejo. Sí. <laughs> Esa pinche rola es de aquellas, compadre. Sing a little bit. Me acuerdo de Sonora. Yo tengo una yaquecita que quise mucho en Sonora. Que cuando ya va en la cumbia, el que la ve se enamora. Ah, huevo. Ah, huevo. <laughs> ¿Tú crees que tengo miedo, papá? Y me encanta esa pinche rola. I have rola. a bunch of favorite songs that I like to play. Uh, for me, uh, anything to Canas, bro. I don't know what it is about to Canas, but for me, I get. I mean, did you not hear what I said? I said Centenario. That was like my first. Centenario is a to Canas song. Centenario. Ah, uh, well. You know what one of my least favorite songs is? I don't know why. I don't know why, but for me, it's cuando cuando. ¿Cómo se llama la fucking? I think it's the Invasor song. Mi casa. Casa Nueva. Mi Casa Nueva? I fucking hate yeah. it. Yeah. Te escribí una carta y no me contestaste. Yeah. Pues no le hables, puto. I, and, and I like Invasores <laughs> I like Invasores And I like I like all those You know Cadetes and shit But some of those songs Are so basic they're I cool, mean they're Respect cool. to every I get time, it cause you know? they're classics I get it cause they're classics But, but um, now as a musico I'm like bro You know you could've done A little better bro yeah. like, You know you, you know you could've Put in a little bit more juice <laughs> No facts You know Well not even all that sauce I was gonna say Ponle sauce también I sent you a I sent you a Carta I sent you a letter And you didn't reply Fuck you, bitch. Next. I know. I know. We would have been All stuck right. on that song. Stupid. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> what is one of, in your opinion, one of your most memorable gigs? It could be with the current group, with uh, your past group, or helping out a band, or witnessing uh, a band play. Witnessing a band play? Witnessing a band play. Any of those. Well, that's any of those two are different possible. questions. I'll tell you witnessing a band play who it was. But Okay. Um, okay. Okay. That's that, okay, two questions then. You personally performing, which is one of your uh, best uh, experiences? And that, but eso preguntaba. It, it could mm. be with the group. It could be like a jam session with another band or whatever. You know what I mean? But you, you on the on the musician side of the of the performance. Do you know who 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 DMG Music is? Um, no, they're they're a label from here. They're a label from here. They they he discovered Junior H. Okay, you might, you might not know who he is. But. Es un tumbado. I know the name. Yeah. But he started um, making events here in Oregon, and when he first started, he got my band at the time, Los de las Rosas, and we sold that motherfucker out, bro. And I mean, our our thing, as you know, my thing is like live music, you know, getting the vibe going, cumbias, yeah. turning zapateo, a party on, bro. There's no, but also gangster corridos, you know, no which other is no other feeling like you know, that, nar bro, nar narco shit, you know. And we made that motherfucker pop off. Where were bro. you guys at? It was an event. Yeah, it was at El Corral in Salem. That used to be Is that where you Flamingos used to be No, yeah, that, no yeah, That's yeah. in Cora No 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 No, no. you're right You're yep. right You're right You're right Well you were right Because you said That's where Flamingos used to be yeah. Correct But I get confused Because one's El Cora And one's El Corral yeah. And they're both in Salem No mames Is it still Is it still uh, All ages Or is it They make it 21 I don't know But it, but at that time It had the 21 and over Like they have a little area And shit Bar and shit Got you 
Ah, no mames, bro. So that was cool. We got to pack that motherfucker out and fuck yeah. You know, it was pretty cool. And that was that was through DMG Music, you ladies and Yeah. Nice. That was like my most my most in sync experience with musicos where like everything just is that one, one of those gigs where you're looking at motherfuckers on the stage with you? All of us like, were looking at each other like, holy shit, can you the, guys believe how good this is going? Yeah. We didn't even plan this shit. And it, those are it's some ha- of my it's favorite happening. movies. It's happening. And it happens a lot of time, but that was like the best one, you know? Being like, because I play by Jose, so sometimes I'll be with somebody who's playing either bass or tuba, and sometimes we'll click like that. And you're just like, And then, and then we both feel it. We First we hear it, and then you feel it, and then you're like, you're looking at them to see if they felt it too, and they look at your back, bro, and that connection is just like, Music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah music, that just that Que happened. viva la música. Salud por eso. Ah, Salud bueno, por la música. Salud, Salud por la música. Salud por la por la música. Salud por la música. Next question. Seeing a band play. Or, or not a band, but a, a performance. Bro. I got to say Máximo Grado, bro. I got to see Máximo Grado live. That's because you like those motherfuckers, huh? But, but I, I know. I, I, and I get that as a musician. Because like, you I'm like, like used to come over, you'd be like, I got this new Máximo Grado song. Yeah, but I but I like I like um other bands that I've seen live. And no, bro. Like, I've seen Regulo Caro li- live, and he's a GOAT. Mm-hmm. But live wasn't it. I know. I've Not that. at all. Exactly. I've heard that but Máximo Grado was exactly what, exactly what you listen to on the fucking tape. Is exactly Plus. what you get, and the vibe too. Not just not just the sound. They're not they're not standing there like robots. Them motherfuckers are on stage, moving around, and that's where I get a lot of my presence too from watching those motherfuckers get, you know, lady titties. You know, <laughs> was it was it Maximo Grado with Marito? No, Pre? with with Valenzuela, Alexis Valenzuela. Ah, uh, well, I saw him when they were first nice. coming out. Original Maximo uh, Grado, well, even before ah, Lover Lequipo right. came out. It was like. Before that? Yeah. I've been a fan forever, bro. Was it here? Yeah, it was here. They came and opened up for somebody. No mama. Simon, bro. I feel with him heavy. I remember that flyaway. It was a long time ago. Wait, a minute but, ago, huh? Yeah, but that was my favorite one to see. And I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of people. I've seen Noel Torres, you know, from back in the day. Larry Hernandez. Larry Hernandez, I got it to my hat. He gets down too. He, he gets, gets down, down too. In show. We're talking about live. Yeah, live, live, live. You know, State prisons. Yeah. You know who disappointed me one time? And that's not to talk shit, and I, they're way better hey, now. Hey, it's an experience. It's an experience. One time we went to go see uh, Banda Carnaval, and it was a package deal with Calibre 50. And I forget what the Calibre fuck Calibre 50 wasn't it, huh? It wasn't it, me bro. Me neither, dog. It wasn't it. Me and I got neither. so excited because I was like... like three times, and, and three times like, it was not it. I don't know. I only seen it that one time, honestly. And for me, it wasn't it. I was like... And I got so hurt, too, because I was like, fucking... And then Munoz is a beast, bro. He's a beast, pero... I don't know if it was the sound. I don't know if it was, they were off their game. I don't know what it was, but it was. That's just, true. We can all have an off day. It is true. That happens. Everybody has a bad day from That's time true. to time. And mm-hmm. also, and there's times where it's literally not your fault. It's literally the PA and the sound engineers. But the thing is, as a public, like as publico, as an audience, you don't know that. You just think the band's fucking up. 80% of sound engineers, fuck you. Especially the, around here. The, the great 20%, God bless you. God bless you and... But you eat, 80% Eat, eat healthy and exercise Because we need you motherfucker. Seriously though You 80% Eat a dick bro Straight up You guys fuck it up For everybody There's, there's, there's some sound yeah, I got it I got it bro We are the musicians We know how it's supposed to sound like see. Listen Listen Linda Heed my words Linda 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 Listen It's a serious problem bro, bro I'm not <sighs> Hard to say without talking. There's some DJs way que se sientan. DJs, you are not sound engineers. <laughs> you pick songs and, and yo, shout out to DJs who get down. You know, sí, they have sí, amazing sí. creativity. Yeah, I, I, and the thing is, there's some DJs que sí saben un poquito, no. pero hay unos yeah. DJs que but se they're, sienten. But los... they're sound engineers in that case. They've studied, they've, 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 That's what I'm saying. Hay unos DJs que sí, que sí saben. You know? O sea, here's the thing. But there's there's some them... sound engineers que son DJs. Andale. Ah, you know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of exactly. DJs, bro. But there's some DJs que. They don't sound the same in the headphones as they do on the fucking. No, they're all those monitors, bro. Monitors. So, a poquito. Just a little bit. I just need to hear a the little bit. The music was favorite line. So, a poquito el monitor, viejo. So, a poquito el monitor. Have you ever heard him mad at the sound engineers? Bro, at the best. Have you ever heard him mad at the sound engineers? I've been mad at the sound engineers. No, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? No, I was, sing, motherfucker. I'm over here like, suele la puta voz verga, me ando deshaciendo. You know? Wanna, want me to let you in on the inside joke? What? Okay, I wasn't there, so I couldn't tell you, but they let me Jeez. in on it. Salud por los negocios. Ari and Pepe both went to the Besame Mucho Festival. I know, you told me that. Motherfucking bitches, right? I, I say that because I'm jealous. 
I wanted to go. Here's the thing. There was a band who was having problems with the sound engineer. And the singer, I, th I think the band was Zoe. I can't remember what the fucking band was. It was a rock band. The guy was, no, pinche ingeniero, no sirve para nada. Así, güey, frente a la gente. Gustavo, sube a la verga sin miedo, si no, va a valer verga aquí todo. Gustavo. So here's the thing. If you ever have problems with the sound engineer, Gustavo. Oh, <laughs> fuck. If you ever hear Los Amigos when it's me, Ari and Pepe playing, and we say, Gustavo. Es que, es que vale no vale verga. verga. No vale verga, <laughs> este güey, Simón. Simón. Que no vale verga, so. Now, now you know, now you're not a lot. I mean, hey, no, it's a fucking... I'm part of an elite circle now. We, we, <laughs> we're part of it. Bro, I'm going to ask you. This is the Go Deeper podcast. Go. Here we ask you two big questions. Obviously, we bush in this and that a little bit. At the Go Deeper podcast, the preguntamos, we ask you two things, bro. We ask you... About a paranormal experience, if you ever have one, or if you know of someone who's ever had one, así como first hand, like first hand happened to you, or second hand, alguien te ha contado, somebody's told you something like that. And then uh, it's another question that I'll ask you after after this question. I want to ask you first this question right. about a, if you've ever had something stand out to you paranormal wise. Experience. No más, no más no se saquen de onda, eh. Uh, no más no bro, se saquen de onda. A mí me encanta este pedo. Por, por favor. Right. Un poco, yeah. right. Right. I need to know what the fuck happened to you paranormally. I, I'm not a super religious person, but I'm a very spiritual person. Uh, you know, <laughs> I I I I believe that energy is very real in mm. a, in, in, in a lot of different ways. You know, it is. And well, well, and you can feel it, which is weird. Well, the, the energy that you have around you can manifest certain things that can be positive or negative, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I've experienced. And I'm only 28 years old, but when I was younger, me and my brother grew up very close. And um, when we were in high school, we would get into it a lot more than we would when we were little, you know. And, and since we were kind of grown, like grown young men, sometimes shit would get violent, you know. What's the age difference between you and your brother? One year. Oh, shit. so we're like fucking uña mugre way. We're older? next to each other. No, I'm, I'm younger. I'm the younger you brother. Have an older brother? Simon. I didn't even know that. He is not like me at all, like musical <laughs> or nothing. Like he 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 likes to just do I his, did not like know be quiet that, bro. and do his own thing. You know. ¿Cómo se llama? Bernie. Bernie. Saludos para el compa Bernie. Bernardo, mi mi carnal. Wow. Simon. He 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 likes to you know do the wild shit like motorcycles and stuff. But he doesn't like to do anything that causes attention, which is like the musical shit, you know. Like, you don't like that. He's more low key. Yeah, way more low key. But me and him were always together, you know. Uh, growing up, and as 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 brothers do, you fight from time to time. But but in that's, high school, I remember. Love. I remember one time in high school where it got pretty violent, and my mom was like, my mom was watching it, and we were beating each other's asses. Your mom was refing like three, two, one, fight. <laughs> no, sometimes she would like sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes she would do that, like, like, cause you know, brothers fight, but this time was different. Something was dark this time. Oh, there was like an actual. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I felt okay. it all day, like, like, like somebody was gonna get it that day. But then my brother on my way home was just picking on me, picking on me, and then I was like, "Motherfucker, you're gonna get it." So we got into yeah, it. You're like, I know who's gonna be. <laughs> we, we got into it and we started wailing on each other hard, you know. And then um, how old were you? How old were you? How old were you? Sorry, I was like 15. Oh, see, I thought you. Yeah, so I was like a young man, you know, like freshman year. Yeah, Sixth yeah, grade. around there. Yeah, around there. Nice. Fucking fresh freshman year. It was freshman year, I think. And um, I'm in my, or, or we were fighting, right? And um, my mom stops it. She starts, you know how Mexican women are. She's hella religious and Catholic, so she's yelling at us like, "Ay, Dios mío, van a ver, cabrones. This is this is fucked up." For for people who don't know oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Spanish, yeah. Spanish, you're gonna get fucked because I need to say it in Spanish. But, ay, Dios mío. Que Dios lo, Dios, Dios lo va a castigar por andar pegándose, son hermanos, son sangre, bla, 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 bla. Esto es el diablo, el diablo, el diablo les va a salir por andar con estas mamadas. Bro, we were just feeded, we went to our rooms, whatever. It was the end Same of the room day. or different rooms? No, we had different rooms, so we're, we're separate. Just make sure. I'm in my room talking to a girl on the phone, right? Este pendejo me acaba de putear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically I'm fucking, I'm heated and shit, and I'm like, hey, yo, you better change the subject because I'm, I'm already uh -huh. freaking heated over there. Tell me something else. Well, what are you doing? Tell, Simon. Tell me about you, Simon. And then out of nowhere, bro, um, I have the lights off and stuff in the room, right? Because it's like. You're trying to cool I'm, off. Boy, yeah, like I'm it. trying to cool off. I'm watching TV and shit. I'm on my bed. And um, out of nowhere, while I'm on the phone, I'm laying down talking on the phone, my, hands fr my hand froze here. And the phone drops, and I'm and I'm knowing this is happening, but I can't move. Like you freeze. Yeah, I froze. You're I couldn't paralyzed. move. Paralyzed. You can't. Yeah. And I couldn't talk. I couldn't. I I knew all this was happening. Like I was conscious, 
consciously see, like experiencing this, but I couldn't move. And I couldn't speak because I wanted to say, like, what? I, I didn't even want to say, like, help. I want to say, what the fuck is going on? But I just couldn't. And then and then one thing that I didn't notice, and I noticed now, I didn't notice at the time, but I noticed now, is that I felt cold, you know? I, I remember feeling cold and shit, right? And um, that's not even the trip. I thought, fuck, I might just be fucking tripping, right? Let's see? I come back, like, like I get control of myself. I get control of myself again out of nowhere. My brother... Burst through my fucking door, bro. I'm so fucking sorry, blah 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 blah. blah. I apologize for being a dick, blah blah blah. Like as soon as you're able to move yeah, again, yeah, yeah. And and then I was like, what the fuck happened? And this whole time the girl's on the phone, and I can hear like, hello, hello, and I just hung up, whatever. But um, but but it it, it like reassured me what happened happened uh -huh, because like the, the phone, phone was, was still on the there. floor, see, and it, and she was still on the line, you know. No, so it was like you were on the phone, and then de repente you were just like, yep, yep, yep. No mames. And I felt the cold and all that, and I was, like, frozen. I couldn't speak. And then my brother comes in, and he said he the same thing. He was tripping out. And because of what my mom told us, he instantly connected it to what we had going on. But the fact that he came in and told me the same shit, bro, that fucked me up. I was like, my mom is, my mom's out here giving us omens That's and true, shit, because if it's, if it's just you, yeah, you're like, oh, I'm maybe, like, nah, I'm tripping. Maybe I was you know? tripping. Maybe I got a spasm. Yeah. But, uh, and I couldn't same, <laughs> your, speak. Not, you know not only did it happen to your brother, it happened to your brother at the same time. My yeah, guy. bro. It was a fucking trip. It was a no, fucking trip. Yeah, my mom didn't know No, and, 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 and I'm, not, I'm not religious. Honestly, I'm not. But uh, I'm spiritual in the fact that I know that there's there's things that take care of us and there's things that, that try to fuck us up. You know, because in the musical game, we're out of the devil's hours, bro. We are. All the time, uh, and then we're being, being. You know what though? I, I'm I'm Catholic because my dad's Catholic, so I'm I'm Catholic too. I was raised Catholic, whatever. I was raised Catholic too. Mexican. It's pretty. Yeah. It's like ninety nine percent of. I'm just personally not too religious. I don't want to say I'm religious. I, I'm not because no way I'm saying I was saying, but I si creo. Mm -hmm. So creyente. I, I, I guess that's a good word I mm -hmm. can say. Que so creyente. Mm -hmm. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a I'm a creer. I'm a believer. Sí, but yeah. I'm not a. I'm not a. Porque no voy a misa, so I'm not like sí, a. I don't go to church every Sunday, but sí, I man. believe. But there's th like being a musical. Like the, here's the thing. I remember I told when I first joined the band. When I told you I joined Felix's band. Yeah, I joined the band. We you know we play corridos and this and that. Some of my dad's friends, hardcore Catholics, were like, "Oh, you mijo, eso no es bueno." And I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, I don't do it with like ill intent from my heart. You know, I I do it because I really love playing music. Like I really actually love being out here. Seeing people dance to the music we're doing, you know, pe people getting pumped up, we're turning parties on. That's what I fucking love, bro. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you like la gente que no, eso no es bueno. You make people drink, and I'm like, people are gonna drink anyways. You're in the vices, <laughs> puro vicio, compa, que la verga. No. Here, and here's the thing, I, but to a certain extent, they're right too because being a musical, you know, bro, we're around some shit all the time, all the time. And if you want to. Very, very easily, you can start slipping off into the wrong path. Very easily, mm -hmm. at any given time. So, being a musical bro, not only do you have to, you know, obviously have your talent to be a to be a musician, but you have to kind of be. You have to be disciplined. You yeah. gotta be. Yeah, you have to have some. Your, some your mental discipline has to be nasty if you wanna if you wanna be healthy. Because there's been, some musicals that are still around and they're they're do drugs and shit, but you know. Th there's been times, bro, where I'm playing like this, have my guitar, and there's a guy with paraphernalia. Like, come on, man, and I'm like. I'm good, bro. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you for offering your paraphernalia with me. <laughs> Motherfucker, how you going to make it snow in July? I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh yeah, se fueron los nieves de enero, puto. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? No facts. I'm like, hey, yo, my G, how you going to make it snow in July, my G? Estamos en pleno pinche verano. You know what's the crazy? I'm, I'm going to tell you, I haven't told a lot of people, one of the craziest gigs that I've had. I'm, a, I'm glad I remember this. No, no, hit no, me, no. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Sin miedo al éxito. We got... I can't. I think I can't remember who it was with. I think it was Felix. I can't really remember. We got. They called us. Hey, kid. We want three hours. Simon, we're at. We're at one of the suites in the fucking Hampton Hotel. Mm -hmm. What the fuck mm -hmm. in the hotel? Duvente, fucking acoustically. But I got my little bow speaker. You know, because this is escuche. What room? Top floor, it's a suite. It's not a room, it's a suite. I'm like, pues. And I can't remember which one it was. Fucking hotel party, let's go. Hotel party, but it wasn't a party though. It was like six motherfuckers and a chick. Oh, we've all been there. No, no, no. Dude. You know what they were doing, bro? It's they a got meeting. a hotel room? No, 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 no. They were partying, they were drinking, smoking meth. 
Ah, but, but it's a meeting entre, entre. Entre, entre. And, and the thing is, I remember one of the girls too, and I, I still think she was fucking hot too. But this boys after that, after I seen her, I'm like, fuck. Like, dude. Yo, and that's a lot of you bitches. A lot of you bitches are here to be honest, doing to be drugs, honest, I, bro. You to be chill. honest, I'm not sure what it was. I, I don't know if it was meth or what the fuck, but like glass pipes. And Simon, oh, glass Simon. pipes and, and, and like. You know what I mean? Like, like, two months, two months, two months. Like, like the party, and they were Estaban cristaleando, compa. Yeah, estaban cristaleando, bro. Estaban foqueando macizo. Pinche, bien foquemones a la verga. Bien foquemones a la verga. Yeah, bro. Y ese foco, loco. Which one? ¿Cómo se llama? De la Santa Muerte. I've had a few of those, bro. Those aren't too crazy. Those That's more crazy. common than you think. Those are way more common than... And, bro, around Halloween time, I always get kicked out for Santa Muerte. Yeah, 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 And the thing is, like, my dad's friends, igual, the, ay, mijo, eso no, bueno. But the thing is, bro, I'm doing my job. No, y, y cada quien su pedo. Cada quien su Stay rollo. Stay in your lane. Yo respeto cada quien, because son, son Stay creyentes. Stay in your lane you know goes in, uh, a, a long way in, in, different, in different aspects of life, the thing especially is, in that spirituality bro, no, thing. A mí no me están faltando los respeto. They're actually asking, like, hey, we like the way you play because you complain. No, you know? respeta y te respetan. Exactly. Right? That's what I'm saying. Respeta you go, it's a two-way street, you know what oh, I'm saying? Wow. So it's very good. Vamos, and the, I'm not going to lie, the first time I was kind of creeped out. But tell me some paranormal activity. I told you some paranormal shit that happened to me. You tell shit. me. Okay. And then ask me your, your other question. Do you need to write it down? <laughs> Here's the thing. Oh, man. no, you say you ask it to everybody, so you should remember. I but know, but tell is. me your paranormal uh, uh, situation that you've gone through. You know what's crazy, man? Even if for, you said it before on other podcasts, but a, it has to be the one that you for, remember. For me, a guy who's who loves this fucking shit, a mí no me han pasado tantas, tantas cosas. Está media culera la que me pasó, ¿verdad? Kind of. Uh, yeah. Kind of. If that would happen to me, I would have been tripping balls. I'm not going to lie. No, nah, I never fought with my brother ever again. Even <laughs> my family, like, I never fought with nobody in my family ever again. Oh, no? Desde entonces, puro mori paz. I mean, ever, not, not puro mori paz. There's been arguments, but I've of course. never. But, but I remember that day I felt violent. You know what I mean? There was, like, I there feel, was a darkness, a dark Yeah, and energy. I don't want to feel violent towards my family like that. So mm -hmm. I was like, that's probably why, because it's your family and you're that violent. Yeah, I know. You know, saying. but arguing is one thing and, and having, you know, disagreements. If you argue and, with your family, that's a healthy family, yeah. in the way I see it. You know I what mean, I'm saying? Mexicans are difference of opinions, if anything, right? No le echas sal a la. Que le eche, túmbale todo, No, no. Que la tortilla por darle su No, bro. Okay, I'm going to tell you one. No me pasó a mí, but I was there. Yo, 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 me and my, my sister, La Que Sigue, was there. My other sister, Sophie, she wasn't born yet. And she was born, she was born when I was six. So it was just me and Monica. Monica, she... So she, you were six when this happened? But younger than six. Damn, and you remember? That shit I don't remember. I'm, oh. tell, I'm telling you a story through my mom. Oh. Okay, I'll go, I'll go, something that happened to my mom. Oh, low-key, wow. low-key scary. What did she told us outside last time that we were here? It was, I can't, I don't know, porque me dijo, I can't remember if it was Christmas or, or, or Christmas break, because, you know, that's two weeks off. What a holiday season. Holiday season, and it was around Christmas time, because it was cold mm -hmm. outside and stuff. We we were we went to one of my grandma's friend's house, and she lives towards Damascus, like like out that way, in the in the, in the the sticks. Simon. Like Eagle Creek, Damascus, Simon. it's the it's the Keda area. I don't know where, I was, ni me acuerdo. She had one of those houses where... The just her backyard was backyard, and then there was no fence because there was forest after Simon, that. Simon, Simon. She had a deck on her backyard. Oh, you're gonna tell me some forest shit? No, oh, no, go. I am. Let's go. And the thing is, and the and her, really the the beautiful. back of her house was not walls; it was glass Simon. because it's forest. Nobody nobody can see in because it's forest. You know what I mean? Simon. The front of your house, yeah, it's walls, but like to see to the backyard, it was just glass. Like yeah. big, like instead of walls, it was glass. You can see to the back patio, the backyard, and the forest. Yeah. My mom says. We were all asleep in the in the living room. Me and my sister were asleep on the floor, and her and my dad were they had two different couches. My dad was asleep. <laughs> Bro, my mom said she. It's it's hard to explain. She said a humanoid fucking thing came from the woods and jumped onto the deck, and she said. It was the most terrifying thing that she had ever seen in her fucking life. That she said that the best way to describe it was like a humanoid, tall demon, had like, like a gray body, like it had cuernos, it had horns and red eyes, like that, bro, like, like kind of like looking inside like this, like looking around. And my mom dijo que se tapó. She went under the blankets. And my mom's not religious either, but she started praying. My dad's religious, Simone. and it's crazy because my mom's Simone. not. But my mom was like, 
Se tapó y... Se me hace, se me hace. Sí, güey, no, güey. Sí, ya no estaba. All right, I didn't know we were going to get that deep, so let me tell you a little extra about that story I was telling you. So when I was frozen, right, mm -hmm. the lights were off in the room. The only glow that you could see was the TV, right? And it was a, it was a square. Uh -huh. When I'm fucking frozen, I could still move my eyes, and that's how I knew I was conscious because I was like looking around like, oh, shit, this uh -huh. is happening. This shit is happening right now. So you can't move anything except your vision and eyes. I can't. I, yeah, I can't. I can't. Yeah, you can't I can't turn your head, but you can see, move your eyes. I like can't this. turn. I can't move, but I can move my eyes, and I'm and I'm and I'm thinking consciously and breathing, obviously. Well, yeah, but I'm thinking consciously, see. but I can't move. And as I'm and I happen to be like in a position where I can look at the TV, and behind the TV was where the the room. It was a corner. Mm -hmm. The room met, so it was a very dark corner, like right that. Yeah, yeah, just where all the angles in the room met. It okay. was right behind the TV. It was a corner. In that corner above the TV. Was a fucking figure, bro, with horns. What you just said. But but I saw it very differently. Or I mean, I'd have to talk to your mom. But what I saw was something with like rags, and uh, and and not not red eyes, just dark. I didn't. I don't even remember the eyes actually. I just remember mm -hmm. like a like a dark like, Some people like smoky face, like a so, smoky face. Like just like yeah. But I remember the horns. I do remember that, and that fucked me up because you know Lucifer and shit. I was like, yeah, oh yeah. fuck, you know. Like, I got hella scared. All those demonios or something. Yeah, and they always, you know, d d demons are always described with horns and shit. So I was like, oh shit, that's goddamn. Did that that's why I knew it was a, the violent thing was not good, especially after see seeing that. that. Huh? Did you? Yeah, oh, that's he a question. Did too. Your brother but he seen didn't. It too? He didn't see it in rags. I don't remember. I, I don't remember what, how he saw it, but I remember that it wasn't the exact same. But he uh -huh. saw a similar figure too, and that fucked him up. That's, I was that was my next question. If your if your brother had seen something similar to fuck, wait, no mames. Okay, did that happen here in Oregon too? That happened in Oregon. Yeah. Well, oh, you guys used to live in, in Clackamas. In uh, no, it was in um, uh, in uh, Beaverton. No mames, why? Beaverton, yeah. Where my parents live right now, actually. Oh, they still live there. They still live there. Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't think my dad knows about this shit. My mom knows. Really? Well, I don't. I don't. I mean, yeah, husband yeah, and wife—they probably do tell each other, but I don't know if my dad does because yeah, yeah, personally yeah, we yeah, haven't yeah. talked about it. But my mom and I talked about it, and See? she's like, "Damn." Well, well, when we when we go upstairs, I have my mom tell us the because she's <sighs> firsthand. Dude, some crazy shit has happened <sighs> to my mom. She's not religious, but she como dices, though, she's spiritual too. You don't gotta be religious to go through energies and you know different situations. Yeah, you know, cosas. my mom's seen some shit like in. My mom's seen fucking duendes with I've never seen Oh don't tell me that Don't Duendes with me that out. I've never seen anything In the musicado, though And we be out at crazy times You know what me too, Bro I've We've been playing At a cemetery And it's gotten dark on us And nothing I have, Nothing crazy I have happened. tried To put myself in situations Where I'm like Bro I need to see something And I haven't When I'm in the musicada Like 3, 4 in the morning And we're in the middle Of Buffalo Nowhere Coming back from the rancho Nothing And we're in the back roads And I literally I literally cruise Because we're the only car I cruise slow bro And I open the windows And I look outside Looking for shit, and my and one of my homies that would always be in the car with me, he would he would be like, "What are you doing?" And I'm looking for some shit, though. Yeah, but but other times he would fall asleep real quick, so he wouldn't even notice. But I'd be just going slow, trying to see shit, Wait. you know. You said you want to do a paranormal thing, no? Okay, you want you trying to see some shit? You want me to go with you and shit? Chill, <laughs> chill, dog. Nah, I don't know if I'm down now. Nah, you know? I don't know, but, bro. But I remember doing that shit a lot. Like, let me see what the fuck going on. Right you, at night, bro. I think our imagination gets the best of us. Yeah, because if you think about it, a lot of that horrible shit can happen during the day too. Yeah, most you know? shit. People are more up. But but if you're into like all that spiritual paranormal shit, nighttime yeah. is when they got the most juice, so they're yep. gonna handle. You know, they're exactly. gonna handle. I don't know, bro. Ah, I don't, what was the other question? We're getting too deep on okay. the scary shit. Transitioning really quick. We we were talking about the paranormal for a minute, pero quiero hablarte another. Your other uh, question. My other question asking. that we ask on the Go Deeper podcast, but no, I don't know if you've seen. Uh, the show or not, but we always ask a guest who comes on if they have a different kind of story, not a paranormal story, but a story or like 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 a stomach story. If you ever if you ever had a close call or if you ever actually had to shit yourself in the fucking <laughs> crazy situations, bro. He got one. That's so bro. fucking funny that you guys asked that shit. I gotta know, bro. <laughs> And, hey, and don't be shy. Remember, this nah, is the, nah, nah. This I is never the shit Go myself. Deeper podcast. I never shit myself, and it may, it might be mad, mad fucking vanilla, but I mean, whenever I was at a at a gig or something, bro, if I had to shit, fuck it, bro. Un tanos caballos, let's go, yeah. you know. Or, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> fucking, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not afraid to shit in the fucking by the tree and shit too. Like, the fuck? Hell yeah. you gotta get that shit going, you know. Have it, but but, but huh? You 
you been in the landscape? No, no. I'm just I'm just, I've been working construction though. Sometimes them porta potties are a bitch. Yeah, you know, no, they get hot. Yo, the porta potties can get hot. You start sweating, bro. You get the wind when you're under the fucking tree, just chilling there. Yeah, mm. The breeze. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever, have you ever felt the, the homies didn't know this? The homies didn't know this in the band, but I always had wipes, bro, in my car. Cause I ain't no bullshitter. I I gotta poop. I'm not gonna go all the way in your house huevo. if I have to. You know I mean? Like, a huevo. Do you have a story though, like at a gig or something, where you're like, "Si eres pobre, tu mía me cago." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One time at a gig, the um, well, the cool thing about musicos that are in, in the Mexican culture is that a lot of them know how to play other instruments. You know, not a lot of them know how to play accordion and other instruments, but That's, they can get yeah. down in between them, right? So my homies, we were at a gig. I don't remember exactly where it was or what it was, but I remember it was a private, like either a wedding or a quince or something. Mm -hmm. It was a big one, you know. A private. bigger event. Stage and PA. Yeah, monitors. yeah. Stage and all that. During the fucking set, bro, I had to fucking shit hella bad, bro. <laughs> and I had to tell the homies, like, hey, yo, keep playing. Somebody keep singing or, like, do a... Over and over cumbia. Like repeat. Over and over. You know, the longest cumbia of your yeah. life, bro. Guapango, whatever, bro. Yeah. Zapateo right now. Just keep these motherfuckers busy. I got to go real quick. Simon. Simon, bro. I just had to run to the bathroom real quick. Mm. Like, it honestly, it was the fastest shit I've ever taken. Squeeze and cut. Yeah. <laughs> Squeeze and cut. <laughs> Clean. No Clean. way. Honestly, I remember wiping and I didn't see shit. Nice. It was, just, it was just gone. Literally. Go back to work, nigga. Like, yeah. literally, that's what my body told me. Go back to work. Handle. You nice. did what you had to do. Smart guy. And I, I felt proud of myself. Spice and slice. Man. I felt Let's exactly. Go. I felt proud of myself. I was like, you listen to your body, good things came. Yeah, well, no, bro. Because other times when I haven't listened to my body, a fart comes out. Coming <laughs> in. A fart can be deadly, bro. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, te confías? Te uh, confías y valiste verga, <laughs> Luckily, I've been a musician for a while, as you know. I have not yet. I always try before I go. Like I said, I've never shit myself. Yeah. And me me pooping by a tree or, like, by a horse trailer is not the same as shitting yourself. Yeah, no way. No way. I'm doing this That's shit saving yourself. Respectfully. Yeah. That's, <laughs> it's like, it's it's me or the tree? The tree. You know what I'm saying? No mames. As a musician who's been a musician for 13 years or so, yet I have... I mean, that one knock on wood. Without, I don't know what the fucking wood is, but... No shit story. During a gig, yeah, I got a bloody nose during a gig one time. That was fucking crazy. You're like, Damn. I, I'm prone to running noses, though, pero shit, todavía no. I haven't had any issues at gigs, thank the Lord. Well, besides, you know, drunk people and stuff, like, having had yeah, them. Yeah, but, that's, but that, like, that comes with the gig. Bodily, bodily fluids, all intact, bro. Mm -hmm. All intact. <laughs> once we, I've puked before at a gig. Oh, so have I. From like drinking and shit, you know, but so have I. But I mean that I don't know if that on counts. Cause I've taken a piss. No, never on stage, never on stage. But I, like, but, but like right before on stage, and then I'm like, hold on, guys, hold on. My 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 I wireless. Come back and I'm like, all right, okay, my okay. guitar is wireless. I've pissed while playing. Like, one hand on my dick, and it's a fire that's open. You're a but, fucking but, animal. But, oh my but, god, but, you're an animal. Yes, sir. <laughs> If they ask where's Mondo, you're a savage. If they ask where's Mondo during a song, holding a dick over a urinal, bro. That's where I'm at. Está tocando miando para no ser bulto, mi compa. Está tocando miando, sí, sí. Está tocando miando, sí, sí. Wild, No shit yet, but that, bro, I got, I got wireless. That was the other question. I can't believe that shit. You guys, pun not intended. Pun not intended. Don't leave it, shit, muchacha. No, chill, bro. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Maybe one day, you know. I mean. I don't plan on retiring yet, so I mean, there's, who knows what the future holds? But todavía no, I haven't shit during a gig yet. I mean, during the breaks after the gigs, that's that's a different story, you know. We're no, but we're talking about when the tummy rumbles. My we're talking guy. about when the time comes. We're talking when about the, when the tummy when rumbles. When the thunder right? rolls. Yeah, I was like, okay, let's be specific, cause yeah, we no. can always anybody can you know responsibly take a shit in break time. Yeah, honestly, I'm, that's I'm what talking you're talking about. To... Like where you're like, a la verga. There's, there's a there's hey, a hey turtle, you know. What I mean? <laughs> Did I not say that on a previous <laughs> podcast, bro? Turtle. Did I not say that on a previous podcast? Hey, you better, you better, you better close that motherfucker. This down. is my culo. This is my shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> bro, like this. GDP podcast. Uni Uni Universal sign, sign for musicos. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. I got a shit. <laughs> La neta, bro. I'm not shitting you. Mi copa porfi se está cagando de risa ya. Ahorita va a cantar el baño, verga. Shit. No, Remy. You do these, right? We never did, bro. 
We never. Bro. I've never done that with with the uh, with the band me personally, but mm-hmm. I've seen that before. Hella, and I see how fucking how how efficient it is. It is five. It's the truth. Four, five. It yeah. Four, five. Well, I mean, from what I've heard, you can assign them differently to your group because, like, you know, as you play with 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 one group, so people do different usually... signs. Like with me and Felix, but the, Sim- there is a universal. Sim- Simon Mole has always been exactly, like this, yeah. but I've also learned that some people do Simon Mole like this. Yeah, see exactly. So y'all like, got your signs, you know. La, it's just L. La, do re mi fa sol la, and then B- C. Do you ever play C in your accordion? Not C, the letter C in English, but S I, like Simon. C. Nuevo. Sí. El mochomo A la verga El cajoncito El hombre del equipo A la verga sí. sí. ¿En sí o sí, mi amor? Sí Sí, mayor Simón, a huevo No mames Yeah Estás perro de... Oh, here, what key is your accordion? GCF? I have two I have, Mine's a double Mine's a in fa and, and, and mi Fa y mi No mames Fa mayor bro. y mi mayor Nice Simón. So you probably play C in the mi accordion Simón Oh, Maybe slow, but not stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can talk motherfuckers know a lot of shit about notes and shit. Wait, you? I've had I've had people who who know how to play guitar tell me about my accordion, and I'm like, I only know that because I I I'm help. Like, Damn, you research this shit? Like, I don't know how to play. Here's like, the thing, right. because I know when I'm in me, actually C. I'm like, okay, so he's in me, and I'm playing C, so I know mm-hmm. that coordinates with Same itself. So you know what I mean? That's true. And I know that with me, you're gonna have me. C is segunda of me, and the tercera is la. Mm-hmm. So, like, those I know from, from guitar. We're boring to people who are musicians this way. The day, Al rato de the la day of my birthday, I have to thank you personally because I got so fucked up, and I'm not sure if I thanked you or not. So, thank you for coming and playing on my birthday. You thanked me a thousand <laughs> times, and it was a pleasure for Wait. me. So, you don't have to thank me. I thank you for inviting me. That's why. And making see, me a part of the community. You that, see that white bottle between the two, the Remy Martin and the Avian? That, that bottle is empty. Gem and Bolt. That bottle is empty. That's the only empty bottle that's up there besides the, the, the shotgun beer Simone. that I also did. And that's up there because that's for my birthday party, bro. That one, it me regaló profiles that day. And that's the bottle that, before I started drinking it, I remember. E- After that bottle, somebody. I call that bottle the tape You and eraser. I took a lot of shots, though. We did? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you and I took a lot of shots. And then, because I was with you. Just taking shots, and then out of nowhere, people would come up. So we took a shot together. We took a shot with Adi. We took a shot with George. George took a lot of shots with us and Adi. And then, like, your dad popped up, a shot with him. And then uh, Adi's dad popped up, a shot with him. So, like, we took a lot of shots in that moment. And then later throughout the night playing and shit, you yeah. took a lot of shots. So, honestly, I was surprised you were up, bro. That was one of the most. I was. This motherfucker was drinking, drinking. Everybody and their, everybody and their mama was bringing you fucking uh, that alcohol. Was, that and you was one of the going. most. Not one. It was other. a good environment, though. That's what I'm it saying. It was so positive. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people. And that's why. That's as corny as it sounds, bro. There was no, love. That, bro. That's like, why. That that's why I'm. Good... That's one thing that makes me very proud, bro. Because I got not just me. I got fucked up off my ass. The party was off the. Everybody ass, was down to drink. Yeah, Zero everybody. problems. Everybody was zero a problems. Good time. It was all positive. It was all love. It was all good vibes. It was all jams. Hey, it was all reflejo smiles. tuyo, compa. That's how bro, you are, bro. That's honestly, why, that's why that happened, bro. <laughs> Is because your vibe, bro, <laughs> and, 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 and 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 you people that are watching this, y'all need to realize, give your friends flowers while they're around. Let yeah. them know. Let them yep. know that they're cool. Let them know that 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 they bring joy to your life or they bring some type of benefit for you. Like, I'm I'm happy you invited me because that shit was a good time. I'm bro. so glad you came. Whether we played with the the musicals that we played because there was a lot of musicals. Shout out to all you guys. There were so many. But also your family, bro. They're fucking inviting as fuck. Yeah. Everybody, food, drink. Let's have a good time. It was so sick. It I'm was so, so glad. I, I I feel bad for blacking out. It was a good time. I blacked out at my own party. I mean, we wouldn't know you were alive the whole time, kicking, fucking, vivito, goleando, segundiando, <laughs> tocando, <laughs> tomando, la verga. I was. Yeah. It was out here. It was fun. It was fun. My mom is, when I got here, you told me to open that one for him. I couldn't open it. I was like. Yeah, bro. yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I remember when you started getting... Yeah, I mean, I see the for C. See the for C. Estoy cuando estoy pedo, no bro. No puedo estar ni madre. No. See the for C. Y luego ciego aparte. No. That was a good night, though. I was like, I... hey, hey. <laughs> but when you ask yourself why that all went so well, now you know, bro. That's that's the, it was the a reflection good of your vibe. It, that, the, the next day, I was worried because I obviously I passed out. No me acuerdo nada. I came to the next day being crudo. I was like, you're like, what did I do? What did I do? I was like, did I, did I fuck up? I don't know what the fuck happened. But I started hitting up everybody. I, everybody started. I started watching stories. I started asking, hey, did everything go good last night? They're like, 
What are you talking about? It was a fucking movie, bro. That's what everybody was It was a good time, dog. It was a great time. Everybody everybody who came had a good time. And that's honestly, that's what I wanted to happen. So I'm glad. Alcanzaste tacos? Everything. Everything. Fuck yes. It was bussing. Everything was cool. Everything was cool. Dude, el taquero no se fue. Yo llegué temprano, güey. Si yo te ayudé con el sonido, ponerlo en la verga. Sí, ¿verdad? That's true. Bro, I got. After 9 o'clock, don't ask me questions. Y no llego temprano nunca, verga. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like, I <laughs> Well, I mean, you're the homie. You know, you, 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 you've invited me a couple of times too out to like mm -hmm. to, to, to drink or something or or to come kick it with you and Adi before. And, and mm -hmm. you know, we're always busy. So, so yeah. you know, we all know it, being an adult, sometimes times don't come up. But that time was perfect. And I was like, man, what better time than going to kick it with my boy on his birthday and you know, shit. Them, bro, collectively, there was probably like four or five bands here. Collectively. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It was crazy. No, It I was know. badass. I'm, was he here for your dad's birthday too? Uh, no, I wasn't. No, no I don't I wasn't. think so. No, I think that was the only one you came this year, right? I, la well, last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, 2020. But I've been to one before that was your birthday before a, a while ago. Too. Oh, see? Yeah, a while ago too. It was here too? Yeah. I think so. They're too. always all here. Yeah, because it was at this house too. Two months. Yeah, yeah, and then it was here. And the thing is, bro, my birthday's at the end of May. It's fucking, that's the beginning of summertime. Nah, it was popping. It was perfect. We were outside, like. <laughs> maybe I was like, how can we never do me a party like a party? Rich, because your birthday's in December. Also, <laughs> also, I don't know if you plan your party, like, to, to end up like that. Like, can I you don't. plan that to no. happen? Because that's, that's tough. You just have to be, like I said, you just have to be a type of way in your life for that shit to come back to you, yep. you know? I think it's. What's the word you were talking about? The energy is like manifesting. Yeah, you like, ma well, not manifesting like saying I want this to happen, but it's the, the energy that you put out is the energy you receive. Simon, Simon. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but that's the way I feel about but it. But when I'm come here, that's all I've ever felt from you. So that's hey, what's thank that's you, why man. I come around. I fucking appreciate that shit, with Lenita. You hey, gotta hey. be careful with who you let in your life, and negativity don't get you nowhere. Here's so when thing, you find bro. people that are positive, and and, and, if, and if you start feeling some negativity, don't be fair. Don't be scared to. Next, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Porque, yeah, a veces it sucks. Me, me ha tocado que okay, I've had to sometimes, pero. But you got to realize that shit, so that's good. The it, fact you that do. you can. Not only that, can... bro, here's the thing. You do this, and then you start seeing differences in your life. Mm -hmm. Like positive changes. And you want to like, roll with the positivity and, and not it's fight crazy. it. Yeah. And it's crazy. I didn't believe it at first, but uh, I did some cutting. So I dropped some negativity, and I was like, I saw, I saw some different flowers bloom around my life. I was like, wait a minute. Why is there more sunshine in this room? <laughs> Lots of sunshine, bro. That was a good time. That was a Tell good you, time. Good I birthday. I te debo una, bro. Ya sabes que your birthday or whatever. I eh, you. Esta amistad espero. Esta amistad va por vida, güey. Tell ya, bro. Así que no, no es que me debes una ni que te debo otra. Andamos en la orden. That's it. Thank right? you, bro. Igualmente, ya sabes yeah. que, que, que if you got one. Shit, I've been, I've been kicking with you guys. I compa George, Adi. Like, Adi, not so much, but he's always busy. That's why. I'm, but George I, is a homie. I invited like, him to come today, but no pudo. He had something, he had shit, something you know? going on, so I was like, ah, oh, fuck. But el compadre, ese compadre. <laughs> ese el Pepe, bro. Felix también. El Felix anda conmigo siempre. He called me today. He was like, hey, qué rollo, güey. Pero así es la fucking vida de los músicos. You know what I'm saying? Este, eh, ¿qué te voy a preguntar? What are you, what are you doing after this? Do you have a, do you have a time limit? I mean, it depends how rowdy you guys gonna get. You got shit to do in the morning. I do got shit. To do I got shit to do in the morning. No, get it. He's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to end the podcast and go grab a burr. Hey, Simon, that's what I'm thinking. That's why. Hijo de tu puta madre. Este por mi. Well, the podcast basically over because I was just dead, dead, dead space hey, you know, right there. So pretty much we're gonna. Go drink some of these at a different location también. So. Yeah, and I have more beautiful conversation. But... Okay, thank you so much for coming. ¿Todavía tienes poquito? Ah, poquito. I don't know. I got a little bit left. So Shout out to y'all for tuning in. Really gracias, quick. Gracias where, can we follow, where can we follow you? You got, let me let me get all your socials, everything. The name of your band también. O sea, todo. Give me give me all of your... On, it's not can, a lot. It's where not we can a lot. follow you and, and the band name. TikTok también. and um, Instagram. Compa Coque. Mm -hmm. And I mean... I don't really use Facebook, so it doesn't really matter. Fuck Facebook. Yeah. Um, I mean, right now, I'm just starting with the Grupo, so I don't really want to get too, too committed. I mean, shout out to the homies from Grupo Nexo. They gave, your boy, they gave your boy a little bit of and space. And I'm, I'm glad Korean. that you pronounce it, because like, the X in Mexican is a veces yeah, no, Mexico. Grupo so. Nexo. Anexo, because I sometimes me like, is it Anexo or Anejo? But it's Anexo. No, Anexo, Grupo Anexo. Ah, qué bueno. Sí, Sa Saludos también al compa Diego, al compa David, y al, ¿cómo se llama el drummer? Ah, Emilio Junior. Emilio Junior. Saludos, Saludos a todos los compas. Saludos para los players. 
Bro, they get down, bro, honestly. We be getting down. We be doing a thing. We making noise. It's on the, you know? it's on the Salem and Woodburn. And, and he posts PDX all day. Rose City boy. PDX. You know what I mean? Hey, thank you so much for coming on. We landed that. Nah, I appreciate, appreciate you having me on, bro. Give me a little bit of space. Always Compa a good time. Okay. On the Go Deeper Podcast. Nah, yes, well. as you can follow GDP. us. GDP. On the motherfucking all social medias at the Go Deeper Podcast. TikTok, Spotify, fucking Apple Music. Your mom's favorite. G -G 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 YouTube. <laughs> the YouTube. All and then YouTube, them. mijo. So, until next time, guys. Take hey. it easy. Take care of yourselves. Put us good vibes. Yeah. Vamos a pistear. <laughs>